Hello everyone, this is Dom, and in this video we are going to cover uh, the various deployment statuses that you can um, utilize here in um, Social Studio. So you can actually see some of these across the side here, status, scheduled, published, pending approval, rejected, uh, draft, failed, things of that sort. Um, I'm just going to show you a little bit about how they get into these statuses. Um, they sh I mean, they should be fairly self-evident um, and understandable, but just in case, we're going to go over it. So let's create a new piece of content here. Um, actually, we can open one that we already have. Let's. Here's one right here um, that's... Notice, post details. This one is published. That makes sense. And one thing you'll note, when it is grayed out like that, um, that is generally uh, because the post has already been published and thus it gets grayed out. The ones that have not been published yet, they remain uh, full color, not grayed out. So this one is published, um, and here, I'll open another one just so you can uh, see. This right here, post details, notice this is scheduled. This is in full color, um, so visually you can see, hey, this is uh, scheduled, um, it's ready to go out. And um, yeah, also, it you know it happens to be in the future, so it can't have published yet. Um, but just as a you know easy visual cue, the ones that are not uh, grayed out are generally uh, ones that are scheduled. Now, another status that it could be in, if we quickly click edit on this one, if I was to take this and instead of changing deployment to schedule, in, instead of leaving schedule for from Social Studio. Um, if I was to save this as a draft, it should take us back to the calendar. Well, first it'll take us to drafts. I forgot about that. So now it's in a draft. However, it was associated with the date and time. So it should still be on the calendar. Now, if there is an event, uh, not an event, but a uh, piece of content that is scheduled in the future, but is not ready for deployment, as in it hasn't been given the green light to publish, um, or that you have saved it as a draft, it also will be um, grayed out. Only it, you don't see the blue, you don't see the color in the background. As far as if I recall correctly, let me let me double check on that one. Um, yeah, let me edit this one and change this one to save as draft. This should kick us over to the drafts folder, and then notice this right here. This is our drafts. Um, this little file folder looking thing. So we're back to the calendar. Notice again, this is in the future, and not only is like this one's grayed out, but it still has the blue background there. This one is grayed, sort of grayed out, but it it also loses the color in the blue. It's a gray color now. So the same should be true if you go into Instagram here. Um, if I edit this one and change it to save as draft, <clears throat> so now this is drafts. And if you ever want, if you're on your calendar, but you want to see what you have in drafts, you can go, if you don't want to see it in a calendar view, you just kind of want to look at what's in there. You can click on this file folder looking thing, and it'll take you to your drafts folder, and you can just scroll through all your drafts. So back to the calendar. This is what drafts look like when they're on your calendar. Um, we use them a lot at uh, the digital media engagement team because we, um, we have a lot of interns that are working with us. And so when they schedule content, they actually, they don't have permission to get something ready for publishing or to publish directly to our, to our Facebook or, or any of our other social media accounts. So anything that they create on our calendar is the only option they have is to create it as a draft. So you may want to have some people inside of your workspace, um, who like say maybe you have some contractors who you want to develop content for you but you you want to have the final say on whether or not that content gets approved you can actually if you go into your workspace settings and you go into users you can set somebody as a um as a oh no as a super user <laughs> you can set somebody as an individual who does not have access to publish so if you were to go here and make them a limited member you can choose what permissions they have. You can get much more fine detail on that as well. But now if you look here, we have Crystal Davis who cannot publish and cannot engage. Now I'm going to change that, but if somebody's 
limited to not publishing and not engaging, that doesn't mean that they can't do anything in the workspace. It just means that nothing that they do will go out to anybody. So I'm gonna switch her back to admin because it's not, this is a testing workspace. I don't really care um, if she does anything in here. But um, so, but if if we had somebody in here who did not have permission to publish or engage, um, specifically on this calendar, this would be the only thing that they could make. Um, they could they could make drafts and nothing else. They couldn't set they couldn't actually schedule things to publish. Once they schedule something, you would have to go in here, uh, click edit, and then go in here and review it. Okay, looks good, looks good. Picture's a little bit grainy, uh, you know, blurry, but whatever. I think it's good. And then you'll want to change it um, from uh, well, it was a draft. You can click, you know, to either publish it right now or schedule it from Social Studio. So I'll click the blue bl blue button, and now it is scheduled, and it it'll be in full color on the calendar. So that is pretty much it as far as um, the the various um, publishing statuses uh, that you can use in Social Studio and that you might run into. Uh, there is one other that I will mention and. That is, it kind of looks similar to one that has already been pub published um, in Social Studio, but it um, it is actually a little bit different. I can't, I don't, I don't know how to explain it right off the top of my head right now. But it's when something's published natively to say Facebook or Twitter, Social Studio will import that and display it, but it will it it will um, you know be grayed out or something like that. Um, but that's just a native post. But other than that, that's just about it, and um, hopefully that helps.